Well, seven years to the day after Katrina, people along the U.S. Gulf Coast are riding out Hurricane Isaac and hoping this time the levees will hold. Isaac made landfall over southeastern Louisiana as a Category 1 storm with torrential rains and winds of up to 123 kilometers per hour. It's already ripped a hole in the roof of a local official's home. The main concern is the storm surge. Forecasters say it could reach as high as 4 meters and Isaac could dump up to 50 centimeters of rain on the area. Isaac has arrived and the people of New Orleans know they're in for a rough ride. On the seventh anniversary of Hurricane Katrina coming ashore here, this is another battering from Mother Nature that has the potential to be devastating. The people of New Orleans are starting to get their first taste of what Hurricane Isaac is all about. This is Lake Pontchartrain and you can see what the winds are already doing to the water here. The fear of a storm surge and torrential rain for possibly days on end is a very real threat to this city and this is only the beginning. New Orleans and the surrounding communities are now experiencing sustained winds of up to 130 miles an hour, and they're expected to continue to feel this kind of uh, strength for the next uh, 10 hours or so. Uh, right now, uh, there are approximately 200,000 households reporting power outages, and that power will not be restored until the wind subsides. And that won't happen until uh, sometime on Wednesday afternoon. Right now, uh, there are no reports of any casualties. Uh, the uh, protective walls around the city of New Orleans are more than holding their own against the uh, surge, the storm surge. But we still have several hours to go before we uh, see the extent of that kind of, um, of water pushing up against the land. And surrounding communities that are outside New Orleans' protective levee system, uh, they are, will not be so lucky because they don't have that kind of protection. And we do expect, uh, we do expect uh, extensive flooding in those areas. We have the assets and the personnel in place to secure the city, uh, number one, for safety reasons, number two, to protect you, and number three, uh, to begin to prepare for search and rescue uh, missions uh, should it be called on to do so. We have over 2,900 law enforcement officials uh, on the, from the federal, state, and local levels uh, that are at the disposal of the city of New Orleans. Many people decided to stay, hunkering down in shelters, knowing the storm was far weaker than Katrina before it, and confident the city would cope this time. Just before the hurricane hit, the police and emergency services were out, making sure people were getting to safety. On standby in case of flooding, which is the biggest risk posed by Isaac. The Gulf Coast was being battered as the hurricane approached, and a storm surge hit the shoreline. It's a dangerous time. The strong winds and heavy rains are expected to be the first major test for the rebuilt levee system. Seven years ago this very week, that system collapsed and Hurricane Katrina devastated the city. 80% of New Orleans was flooded, causing billions of dollars worth of damage. Over 1,800 people were killed. Local and national authorities were slow to respond and crime rates shot up. But officials say they've learned their lesson. We are uh, staged, we are battle ready, we're in battle rhythm, and we will be prepared to handle what comes our way. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has reinforced levees. The governor activated 4,000 National Guard troops and warned neighboring states that Louisiana could need assistance. <laughs> A large area. Uh, now is not the time to tempt fate. Uh, now is not the time to dismiss uh, official warnings. Uh, you need to take this seriously. Isaac killed 22 people and caused widespread flooding and damage in Haiti and the Dominican Republic before touching the southern tip of Florida on Sunday. Top winds are expected to reach 145 kilometers an hour. Certainly 
isn't just New Orleans. There is a 450 mile stretch of coastline along the Gulf that tonight is in a tropical storm or hurricane warning, and that includes this city of Gulfport. Look at the conditions behind me. The surf, very rough. They've been deteriorating for the last couple of hours, flooding already over Highway 90 down just east of us in Biloxi, closing roads. And look at this video we got earlier. The boarded up houses and buildings. So city of Gulfport says they're ready. Uh, folks have been getting off the beaches, police asking them to, and tonight a mandatory curfew goes into place. Either way, the state of Mississippi says they're prepared. 1,500 National Guard in place, at least 14 shelters open.